हेलो वेलकम बैक डियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ ग्रेट इलेवन असलकम वरहि वरक हाउ आर यू ऑल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अनदर न्यू चैप्टर्स चैप्टर थ्री एक्सरसाइज थ्री एफ सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस स्टार्ट आवर लेसन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आवर लेसन we have to confirm our some necessary formula for this related chapters very very important and essential otherwise we can't solve any one so look formula first of all the equation of a straight line passing through the point of intersection of the straight lines a one x plus b one y plus c one equal zero and another equation a two x plus b two y plus c two equal zero is a one x plus b one y plus c one plus constant k plus constant k into second equation a two x plus b two y plus c two equal zero. When the equation of straight line passing through the point of intersection of the straight lines two then equation will be like this another equation formula the equation of straight line joining the point alpha beta and point of intersection of straight lines uh, this and this is a1x plus b1y plus c1 divide over a1 alpha because two equation meet at the same point alpha beta that's why a1 alpha plus b1 beta plus c1 equal A two x plus b two y plus c two over a two alpha plus b two beta plus c two because both straight line meet at the same point alpha beta. Then the equation will be like this, and it is a formula also. Question uh, question uh, formula number three angles between two straight lines these and these are. Equation: If we identify y equal to m one x plus c one equal to equation one, and y equal to m two x plus c two equation two, where m one and m two are the slope of the above two equations, then angle equals theta. If we let the angle theta, then theta equal to plus minus ten inverse m one minus m two div over one plus m one m two. This is the angle theta. Now, formula number four: the equation of straight line equal the equation of a straight line parallel to a x plus b y plus c equal to zero passes through the point alpha beta is a x plus b y equal to a alpha plus b beta. The equation of straight line parallel to this and passes through the point alpha beta. This type of equation formula will be a x plus b y equal to a alpha plus b beta. Formula number five: straight line y equal to m one x plus c one y equal to m two x plus c two are perpendicular if m one m two equal to minus one. That is, if the two straight line when will be perpendicular? Perpendicular will be when multiply or product of both slope. Equal to minus one will come. Then we can say both straight lines are perpendicular. And when it will be parallel, both straight line will be parallel when both straight line will be parallel when slope will be equal. That is m one equal to m two. That time two straight line will be parallel. Okay. Now straight lines a one x plus b one y plus c one equal zero. A two x plus b two y plus c two equal to zero. Are perpendicular if a one a two plus b one b two equal zero. The equation of the straight line perpendicular to a x plus b y plus c equal zero and passes through the point alpha beta is b x minus a y equal to b alpha minus a beta. Students, look carefully. When a straight line will be perpendicular and passes through a fixed Point that time the equation of the straight line, whatever given, just changing 
the coefficient and before the y ordinate coefficient will be exchange and it will be coefficient will be before y ordinate will be minus when minus will give and then it will be plus so the equation of the straight line perpendicular to this and passes to the point alpha beta is bx minus a y b it was uh, before uh, the coefficient of x was a coefficient of y was b so inter exchange bx minus a y equal to b alpha minus a beta because ordinate beta and fcc is alpha that's why b alpha minus a beta condition for concurrency of three straight line when three straight line will be concurrent just a1 x plus 3 equation of straight line 3 is given eliminating x1 y1 from three equations equation 1 to 3 then we get a1 a2 a3 coefficient of x1 coefficient of y1 and constant determinant will be zero which is the required condition of concurrency students look on problem find the equation of the straight line parallel to the y axis parallel to the y axis and passing through the point of intersection of the straight lines with straight lines 2xx minus 7y plus 11 equals 0 and x plus 3y minus 8 equals 0 so we are going to find out the straight line according to our formula which already we showed let the equation of straight line equation of straight line is twice x minus 7y plus 11 plus k constant into second equation now simplify this equation plus kx plus 3ky minus 8k equal 0 now 2xx plus kx will come on side plus 3ky minus 7y y will come another uh, plus minus 8k plus 11 equal 0 or 2 plus k into x plus 3k minus 7 into y minus 8k minus 11 equal 0 so ax plus by minus or ax plus by plus c equal 0 our c is here minus since the straight line requires straight line since the straight line is parallel to y axis so the coefficient of y the coefficient of y is zero where the coefficient of y x plus b y so here coefficient of y is coefficient of y is 3k minus 7 so according to the condition 3k minus 7 equals 0 or 3k equals 7 or k equals 7 by 3 now putting the value of k in our required equation which one is our required equation was the equation of straight line was this so putting the value of k in equation 1 or required equation so what is the equation 1 twice x twice x minus 7y plus plus or you can put here no problem plus k equal to what 7 3 7 over 3 into x plus 3y minus 8 equal 0 now simplify 2 x minus 7y 
plus 11 that means if you multiply by 3 LCM 3 plus 7 into x plus 3 by minus 8 equal the denominator or LCM will be 3 3 goes to right side 0 6x minus 21y plus 33 plus 7x plus 21y minus 7 is a 56 equal 0 or after calculation you will get 6x 7x 13x minus 8 21y minus 21y cancelled so it will be 33 minus 56 so it will be 23 equal 0 this is our required solution students look chapter uh, exercise 3f number 1 find the equation of the straight line joining the origin and point of intersection of the straight line so point of intersection let the equation of straight line equation of straight line is x by a plus y by b minus 1 plus k into x by b plus y by a minus 1 equals 0 according to formula this is our required equation of straight line now arrange now arrange or you can write no need to arrange because both equation need joining the origin so when it will be joining the origin the equation equation passes for the zero zero that means origin so it will be 0 plus 0 minus 1 plus k into 0 plus 0 minus 1 equal to 0 or minus 1 k into minus 1 minus k equal to 0 or k equal k equal minus 1 so putting the k equal to minus 1 in equation 1 we get we get the equation x by a plus y by b minus 1 plus k into minus 1 so it will be minus 1 into x by b plus y by a minus 1 equal 0 or x by a plus y by b minus minus 1 minus x by b minus plus minus plus minus y by a minus minus plus 1 equal to plus 1 equal 0 or x by a y by b x by b no cancellation minus 1 plus 1 cancelled so x by a minus y by a plus y by b minus x by b equal 0 here now lcm if you do the lcm a b will be the lcm so bx minus by plus ay minus ax equal to 0 or or you can write bx minus ax bx minus ax plus ay minus by equal to 0 so if you take common um, x b minus a into x plus if you take common y a minus b into y equal to 0 or b minus a into x minus b minus a into y equal to 0 b minus a if you divide b minus a both sides then it will be x minus y equal to 0 so our question what about the question answer is up to this students look question number 2b 2b find the equation of the straight line passing through the point of intersection of the straight lines these and this and whose slope is 10 45 degrees 
find the equation of the straight line passing through the point of intersection so you can write let the equation of straight line equation of straight line is x minus twice y minus 1 plus k into twice x plus 3y plus 2 equal to 0 now what to do arrange according to coefficient of x and y x it will be plus twice kx plus 3ky minus twice y now twice k plus uh, minus 1 equals 0 or 1 plus twice k into x plus 3k minus 2 into y plus twice k minus 1 equals 0 this is the equation of like as ax plus by plus c equal to 0 so from this equation we can easily find out minus 1 plus twice k into x plus 1 minus twice k this is constant or y equal to minus 1 plus twice k into x over 3k minus 2 plus 1 minus twice k over 3k minus 2 so y equal to mx plus c here the coefficient of x is a slope of this line so the coefficient according to question slope will be slope will be given m equal to 10 45 degree or here m is the coefficient of x is the m minus 1 plus twice k over 3k minus 2 equal to 10 45 degree equal to 1 or minus 1 minus 2k equal to 3k minus 2 or minus 1 plus 2 equal to 3k plus 2k or 5k equal to 1 so k equal to 1 by 5 so putting the value of k in our required equation what was our required equation was this so putting k equal to 1 5 in equation 1 so x minus twice y minus 1 plus 1 by 5 into twice x plus 3y plus 2 equal to 0 or after calculation 5x minus 5 to the 10y minus 5 plus twice x plus 3y plus 2 equal to 0 5 will be LCM LCM goes to right side with 0 will be 0 so 5x plus 3x 7x plus 3y minus 10y minus 7y plus 5, 2 minus 5 minus 3 equal to 0 or 7x minus 7y equal to 3 will be the required answer students look who mark for you and you can uh, write it is class work and feedback should be example 2 example 3 and example four and five homework you should confirm within class time i am waiting for the answer whatsapp number personal whatsapp number given again i am giving the whatsapp personal number double six nine one seven three nine five